Good morning everyone, myself Murli Reddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to deploy the war file in Tomcat. Okay, we can deploy war file in Tomcat and we can see whether that particular application is running or not. Okay, so for that one, let's see the demo. Inside the same server, I have installed the Maven. Okay. Now if you see here, Maven install and also I have created a web application using MVN archetype colon generate. I'm going to insert the web, web application. I'm giving here MVN install. When you use the MVN install, what will happen? It will be generate a war file, right? We can deploy the same war file in Tomcat web apps directory. As I said, if you remember, inside the Tomcat the web apps directory is there. Inside the web apps directory, we have to deploy that particular application. Okay. Now I'm generating that particular war file. This is the first time I'm doing right. That's why it is uh, downloading from everything from central repository. Okay, it is going to download one by one. Wait for a few minutes. Now build is success. I'm giving a little command. If you observe here, target is directly created. Okay. Inside the target directory, we have a war file. We can deploy this particular war file in Tomcat. Okay, same Tomcat server. Okay, I'm using cp command web apps dot war file into the Tomcat opt Tomcat web apps directory. Okay, what will happen? This particular web iPhone application war file it will be deployed in web apps directory. Fine. Now what I'm doing here, I'm going to Tomcat. Currently, I'm Tomcat web apps directory. If you observe here. War file is deployed. When you deploy the war file, it will be extract because it is Tomcat is running, right? But that's why it is automatically extract. But even though it is extracted, when you deploy anything in the particular Tomcat, you have to restart the particular service. Okay. How we can restart? System CTL restart Tomcat that service. Okay. Now if you see here, Tomcat is uh, restarted. I'm checking the status. System CTL status Tomcat. Now, if you see here, seven seconds back, it is started. Okay. Now go to here. In, uh, Tomcat refresh this one. Now we can able to see that web application. In case if I click this particular web application, now you can able to access the application. Inside this web application, default is there. Hello world. Okay. I hope you understand that. And also here, if you see here, it is showing true. True means it is up and running. Okay. Got it. Here it is showing one means we access the particular application, right? The sessions will be open still. That is the reason it's showing one. If you want to stop, you can stop. If you want to reload, if you made some changes, if you want to reload, you can reload it. In case if you want to undeploy, you can undeploy also. And one more thing you have to remember one thing. When we deploy, it will be extracted the directory, right? If you go to inside the directory, if you want to modify anything inside the directory, if you modify anything, you have to restart. If you are not restart, what will happen? It won't be affected. Okay, it won't be effect. Example index.html. Let's see what is there. Yeah, currently it is a hello world, right? Here I'm giving uh, example, I'm giving hello Murli Okay, I'm giving this and save this file. Fine. Now, if you observe here, I have, I have changed this file, I haven't restarted. But if you go and check this application, still it, oh, super. It is updated usually it won't update you have to restart okay the best practice is when you do some changes inside this particular uh, web apps directory you should restart the service okay currently we have updated index.jsp i think that's why it is restart it is updated latest content only usually if you made any changes inside the web application the particular application you have to restart the tomcat i'm restarting tomcat system ctl restart Tomcat, okay. Now it is restarted. You can verify that status. You can able to verify. See, not only this one. Any application will be will be deployed the particular war file. Same process only. Okay, inside the web apps directly only will be deployed and will be restart the particular Tomcat service. And one more thing, what I'm doing here, in case if you want to delete this application, what you have to do, you have to delete both. This directly and also war file you have to delete. What I'm doing here, I'm deleting this one. R minus RFA. Web app. 
here I'm giving the star. Star means after web, web iPhone application, if anything is there, it will be deleted automatically. If you observe here, it is deleted to one is directory, second one is work file. Okay, fine. Now, if you go inside a work directory, as I said, inside it will be created a Catalina directory. Okay, inside localhost, still it will be there. Oh, it is deleted. Usually, sometimes what will happen if you delete it there, that a particular application also will be here as well. You have to delete here as well, and you have to deploy new war file. Okay, what is right? How to deploy? Not only this uh, Java based application war file, if you have any, if you want to deploy in Tom uh, Jenkins war file, you can deploy. Okay, later Jenkins part, I will also deploy that particular Jenkins war file in Tomcat, and we can access that particular Jenkins. Okay, I will show you later. Okay, I hope you understand that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. This is a very important interview level also. How do we deploy, okay, application in Tomcat? Have you deployed any application in Tomcat? Yes, I have deployed Java-based application. We have a web application, Oracle is generated, and we deployed the particular application web apps directly, and we have restarted the Tomcat, and we have verified GUI, it is working fine. Okay, and one more thing, remember, currently we have declared the roles, and we are giving the username password, right? In real time, some of the use cases will be used the LDAP credential. Okay, the LDAP credentials will be declared a dot properties file. Okay, instead of logging with, uh, logging with this particular username and password, we will be logging with uh, the particular application GUI through LDAP only. Okay, fine, right? If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next video.